Good evening, RPG Limit Break and Archipelago fans! Welcome to this, our first match of the finals of the Archipelago Final Fantasy Randomizer with Time Spinner uh, Tournament. I am Hate the 13th, joined in the booth by Wef Jepster. How you doing tonight, Wef? I'm doing pretty amazing, pretty excited to be here in the booth. Uh, this is the round one of the finals. This is a best of three situation. Our runners should be starting pretty soon here, but uh, welcome everybody, and I hope to see a good race. Yeah, these teams have had, uh, both have had a bit of a slog here. This is their second matchup uh, because, well, because of the way everything went. Um, the first time Hardrath came out victorious on the... And yeah, I'm <laughs> sorry, my brain they, is just uh, kind of going a little boof right now. Yeah. Technically, this is their this is their third because of the play-in qualifier, the two v two v two. Chanigan and Shumbabi actually came out in front there, so this is a bit of a rubber match to start the best of three. So uh, a lot of really good gameplay here. Uh, really, uh, just looking to see what we get uh, from the early going and how important the hints play, uh, how important a role the hints play in the progression here. All right, and we are off. All right, you see gun orb to start. Yeah, we have uh, cure three is a level one spell. Uh, gun orb and storm eye. Well, you're also not have... lacking for slashing damage. Yeah, uh, we have a uh, bane, and uh, what was there was another one in there that yeah. I wanted to say for level one. I think we saw fire three and lightning three in there too. Uh, yeah, fire three are... and lightning three both there, so. Great sweeper spells um, for him to have. Here we go. We're going to get the first few items uh, from Time Spinner. Uh, we have Forest Serpent from the West. Forest Serpent. Uh, nothing really spicy right now. Uh, we'll see how this goes uh, as they continue. Oh, oh my. my goodness. Right away, um, they get the Twin Pyramid Keys, which allows them their travel from present to past and also their fast travel and let me see it looks like we got a little bit of divergence not so much shumbabi went down to go loot the first couple of dwarf checks looks like he found a uh, greed brooch and then something for himself i didn't catch exactly what yeah it's uh we have a ribbon it looks like and uh toe for yeah. bottom left wow yeah toe for bottom left they get a ribbon so, uh, you know, some early gear. And early... Oh, there's light wall. You know, they kept asking me not to roll him a jet seed. I kept telling him, no promises. And apparently well, I'm rolling him a jet seed. <laughs> well, you don't really... I mean, if they if that's their only vertical for the entire game, this is not guaranteed to be a jet seed at all. There's a shadow seal, which is huge. I'm sorry, uh, you shadow, were saying? <laughs> shadow seal will help with the damage. They actually uh, will be dealing damage the more health they're missing now. So that is... Uh, that is pretty huge. It's very popular. Um, worth noting right now, uh, the movement you see on Admiral Tryhard's side, he's kind of doing some back dashing and jumping and shooting the guns, and that's what's called risky dashing. It's a little bit faster than just walking, and actually it's quite a lot faster than actual walking, but it is very difficult to do on a consistent basis. But I hear he's been practicing it, so yeah. good on him for that. All right, and it looks like we found the ship in Tove top left, and... The canoe from the king. Okay, yeah. well, okay, fine, it's a jet seed. Yeah, I'm... I concede. <laughs> yep. I was hoping to roll him a slog. I was hoping to roll him something like I roll for myself, but, man, my luck for rolling the AP seeds as of late has been uh, good for the other people. Yeah, we have uh, our first routing divergence here in Time Spinner. Admiral Tryhard uh, opting to go down into the top of the caves there is a portal at the end of the caves that takes you right back to the refugee camp so you don't lose that much time by doing it he is missing the water mask so there is a small chance that he might have to double dip this area it's really the only risk you're you're really attracting by doing this meanwhile uh chanigan doing kind of the same thing that he did uh in his uh part of the 2v2v2 2v2 victory in that just he's just kind of doing the conventional routing no real out of the way risks and uh just kind of doing what's in front of him 
Yeah, I am honestly surprised that he uh, didn't stop and kill those two engineers, because he's got the light wall, he can just, you know, he could have climbed up there. Yeah, he might be doing it on the way back in, uh, but that's, you kind of, you kind of need to kill them with that aura serpent uh, up at the uh, top right, and then you can light wall climb up. Well, yeah, uh, that's kind of why dead. I was, that's why I was kind of surprised. And we got a Masa from Bicky. Pirate fancied himself a ninja. I, I guess. Yeah. And <laughs> Shannigan's just skipping over that chest. Yeah, um, well, you can always go back and get it. Uh, yeah. There is the idea that, you know, it's one check, and it's not really that far away from a portal. True. Admiral True. Tryhard going to the present uh, might be just checking this. Yep, that's what I thought. Yeah. Just checking that one quick... Uh, quick library chest, although there is more to do in the library. Uh, he might be waiting until he has uh, the D key card, which adds another three checks onto everything that can do. And you know, uh, Chanigan just skipped another chest. <laughs> um, the engineer chest. So, uh, this is interesting. I don't know if... Uh... No, he, he, he picked up Freeze. He picked up Freeze the engineer. Oh, he picked up Freeze the engineer? I'm yeah, sorry. Yeah. I Okay, good. He I just did it in a, a he did it in a little bit of a different fashion than normal. Got it. I just saw him jumping up there and I was like, what are you doing? Now, one thing that Admiral Tryhard did find that kind of, you know, looks like it might be a good thing is uh, he found the nether orb in the upper banishment above the sirens. Or Yeah, you, you love to see that. Gun orb is not a very great orb um, in most cases. Nether Orb is one of the more powerful orbs. It does blunt type damage, which is good against uh, the first boss, uh, the first main boss here on the right side of the past. And it also does uh, dark type damage against the second boss in the towers, uh, where uh, you can intercept the Nether Orb with projectiles, and it will actually create uh, some some dark type damage. You see Admiral Tryhard killing those engineers with that. Are a servant, and uh, he's going to be doing this light wall climb to get up there now. And I just now noticed that our two trackers, uh, that would be Devious RNG and Shadow Mr. T, had been keeping up on spells, and we missed Fast at level 2, as well as Exit and Invis 2 at level 2, Cure 4 at level 3, and Fade at level 4. It's a lot of spice in those first four levels. Yeah. I mean, I'm just glad I didn't roll him a level one nuke. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I just gave him, you know, Bane and Fire 3 and Lightning 3 at level one. Sigh. <laughs> so uh, we really haven't seen much of the progression. That's a Star of Lachium, which will help a lot. Uh, well, he's opting to stick with the Shadow Seal. With the gun, it's kind of a chunk damage, and it kind of makes sense to do that. Uh, it'll be interesting in the early going to see if um, you take good use of that Shadow Seal. In the early levels, you might not you might not really want to because you don't want to risk being within one hit of death. Um, that Colossal Blade was in Marsh Cave, and that's also something that's just sharp damage. They have they have no shortage of sharp damage here, so the Colossal Blade doesn't help them much. Yeah. I'm kind of trying to see anything that sets these two Time Spinner Seeds apart, and I'm not seeing much. I think the biggest difference at this point is just that uh, Tryhard knows where the uh, present warp is, he knows it's the library, and has got the Nether Orb. Yes, the Nether Orb, I think, is a big deal. Um, Chanigan needs to remember that he, in order to use Warp Shards, he has to use the warp at least one time. Yeah. Uh, so if he continues all the way up the tower, finishes the tower, and tries to use a Warp Shard that he bought at the Merchant Crow, it's not going to work for him. He's going to have to backtrack out of the tower. Yeah. Uh, Tryhard has used the warp one time uh, to check that out, and so uh, he won't have to remember to do that. All right, and it looks like Shumbami doing the Earth Cave checks, uh, which is, well, how their team beat my team. Um, <laughs> so it looks like he pulled a katana out so far, and he did send a warp shard over to Chanigan. So, yay, he just yeah, needs um, to hope that Chanigan remembers to use a warp. 
Well, that's um, 100, uh, 125 gold, or not gold, but 125 money uh, that he won't have to spend, and he'll be able to spend on ethers to fuel his light wall climb. <laughs> yep. Uh, Chanigan, I see he's been avoiding all of these lore checks. Uh, those lore checks give you money when you collect them, and Tryhard's been actually going out of his way to pick them up. Yeah. Uh, he, they, they are going to have to buy ethers to make this climb. Uh, <laughs> so uh, it's just kind of a... Uh, an idea of are they going to have enough money by the time they get to the Merchant Crow uh, to buy enough of them to make that climb. Tryhard going to the library, uh, he found a shiny rock. Uh, was the shiny rock on both sides? That shiny rock is going to give him plenty of money to do everything that he needs, including buy uh, mine refreshes, biscuits, and warp shards. I believe the shiny rock actually came out of Marsh. So... It came out of Marsh, so that's not something uh, that Chanigan at the moment will be able to take advantage of. Yeah, though Chanigan did get the gas mask from Earth Cave 13. Which that, is that's our that's our first main progression difference, I think. Yeah, Asher Trunk paying out this time and well, in a gas mask. All right, so we're going to roll right into the idol fight. Uh, they do have Light Wall, which is going to make very quick work of the idol. Uh, Admiral Tryhard having that Nether Orb, being able to stack Light Walls and hit with blunt damage on the idol is going to make it a lot quicker for him. Uh, so uh, we'll just see uh, the strategy here. Uh, the Gun Orb doing a lot less, a lot less work than the Nether Orbs will. Yeah, it, you know, the, I think one of the other big things is Chanigan has been pretty much not killing anything. Like, he has been avoiding killing enemies as much as possible, even in Omelette Room. He didn't actually make the Omelette, he just jumped over everything and damage boosted through the eggs. So. Yeah, picking your battles is a big part of racing Time Spinner Randomizer. Uh, you don't want to stop to kill too many things, because frankly, you can be over-leveled in Time Spinner. You kind of want to hit that sweet spot uh, where you can kind of one or two cycle Sandman. Uh, at the end, and that's about really all you're hoping for. Oh my, and uh, it looks like there are silver bracelets plus five sitting in Carnaria for like 2,000 gold each, so that's some good armor there. And there was a vendor item for 1,000 gold, which I did not see what it was. Uh, it was... I have no idea, I don't know. Yeah, I didn't see it when they picked it, it up. It was either so. a shard... I think it was a shard. Yeah. No, it was not a shard. I don't know what it was. But, um... Nothing too much of note. Right. And the idol yeah, being... Yeah, you see still fighting the idol right now. Uh, that's really kind of the work of the gun orb. Not only is it slow, but the idol is actually strong against sharp type damage. Hey, there's that shiny rock, so Chanigan will be able to sell that to buy all the things that he needs, so that's kind of a bailout. Man, just it hurts to see an idol fight going on like this. Yeah, and especially because you know Tryhard, having done all of the stuff that he's done, is about to just catch right up to Chanigan and just be right on his heels here. And the other problem with Chanigan using the Shadow Seal is, um, it doesn't work for Gun Orb or for Plasma. That is correct. The Shadow Seal does not work with Gun Orb. He would be better off uh, using. Uh, you would be better off using uh, the Star of Lachium that they picked up. All right, and Shanigan has finished off that, uh, finished off the twins, and picked up a shard. Nothing too grand, but you know, necessary. Yeah, it's a it's a boss that is literally required, so you have to do it anyway. Might as well get a shard on the way. Yep. Try hard making the power move, skipping the uh, save point outside of the twins he knows he has this fight yeah. locked down <clears throat> and it looks like he got the eye orb somewhere as well oh and there's the blue orb that you know it's not the best but it would have worked better than gun orb against it the idol worked a whole lot better than gun orb for sure yeah and now we see tryhard just laying yeah. into the idol yeah tryhard's tryhard is gonna gain probably two plus minutes on Shanigan here, just by virtue of this fight taking a lot less time. Yeah. And there's the Eye Orb for Shanigan, which I'm surprised... Okay, yep, here's we go changing off of that, because we are so sick yeah. of the gun. 
Yeah, I would be sick of the gun at this point too. Yeah, yeah, and there's Tryhard just kind of melting the idol there. Yep. Yeah, whereas it took Chan again about a minute and a half, two minutes to kill the idol, Tryhard just pop, pop, melt. Yeah, it was it was, a... it was over before it started. Yeah, and Chanigan... Um, so Chanigan did not use that teleporter. Oh boy. Uh, so he will, unless he does some serious backtracking, have to uh, backtrack his way out of the tower after full clearing it. Uh, Tryhard needs to maybe not take so much damage right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he hasn't saved in a bit. And if he... he hasn't saved in a very long time. It doesn't look like he's got anything to check Yas Queen, so they're just going to skip on through this part. Yeah, no pink items yet. Uh, at this point, you're kind of hoping that your FF1 partner passes you something on the way. Oh, and it looks like Sonny digging the volcano, finding his tail, and also finding his loot from the Canoe Sages. Wow, that is... That's big. Yeah. Uh, we saw in the two v two v two how big early, um, how big an early advancement of your characters can be in something like this. All right, and it looks like the floater is at right tower freebie, so that one will be coming up pretty soon, probably for both of them. Uh, yeah, it's um, it's kind of out of the way of the way Chanigan went here. Uh, Tryhard does not have that knowledge. Uh, Ooh. maybe. In coming back here to uh, no, he's uh, he's just gonna hold off on it. He's gonna finish the tower and then pick it up on his way out. Yeah, I'm guessing it's probably because Shum hinted for it because he was in the area, and you know, upon seeing where it was and Chanigan telling him, yeah, I'll get it, you know, soon. He's, I would be surprised if Shum doesn't go to volcano. Yeah, Chanigan uh, and Shumbabi are kind of a well-oiled machine, just going through. They, their timing is impeccable uh, with each other, and they just really have great communication. So that is something that is to their advantage. Ooh. All right, we got a lot of chests coming up here in Volcano. And it looks like Chanigan has forgotten which one Right Tower Freebie is. Right Tower Freebie is the one at the bottom of the Right Tower. Instead, he's I don't going know, this for is the... kind of the route you want to do as you're climbing the tower anyway. You kind of want to do the right tower and then warp shard out of the Alana room. But the problem, again, no you warp can't warp shard, shard out of the Alana room because yeah. he hasn't used the teleporter. And there's another orb that's kind of slow. <laughs> uh, we got the loot. Um... Yeah, there was the loot for, uh, for Shumbabi. And yeah. there is the floater. There is that floater. And Admiral Tryhard has been made aware of where the floater is, though he is checking bottom struggle juggle first. Yeah, this is, um... Okay, yeah, Tryhard uh, kind of maybe doing a little too much on that light wall climb. You really don't have to do any of those jump buffers with the light wall in those rooms. It saves you maybe one light wall, maybe. Uh, you risk jumping up and missing the ledge <laughs> and then having to fall back down and do all of it again. Yeah, which uh, is so, yeah. especially problematic given that, well, they're both still just doing the light wall climbs. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Like, just because they already have vertical doesn't mean it's going to be a particularly fast vertical. Chanigan making his way to Alana. Uh, no double jump or anything, but light wall strats are... Um, are are available here. Also, the Aura Blast, uh, or Aura Serpent that they have would be good. He's opting for Colossal Blade here. Probably um, because of the speed of it is what I'm thinking. Yeah, it would probably be for the speed of it. Uh, the Aura Serpent also forces you to stay perfectly still. Yeah, no one likes uh, that. And what we're probably going to see Tryhard do, because that's what he did during the 2v2v2, uh, when you don't have double jump, uh, and you really have movement problems, using Light Wall to stack them right in the middle of the screen so they're hitting Alana and both of her... Uh, oh, there's Chanigan doing it right there. Yep. Uh, it kind of hits Alana for a bunch while you can't actually do any melee damage, so it's very, uh, it's very, very effective if you don't have a lot of movement. All right, and well, now they at least have the Volition Crown, so they have, or at least Chanigan does, and that came out of the Cardias, which... Um... Well, since Sonny is still clearing Volcano, and I guess Shroom didn't actually attack Volcano yet, it's 
that might actually be something that might actually make a little bit of a difference. Yeah, especially there was a second ribbon in Volcano as well. Oh boy. I mean, I fully expect and, uh, Shun will probably go full clear Volcano after he's gotten a few levels. Or right now. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> or right now. Oh, got that Masa there. Chanigan getting up into the attic with just a single light wall. Nice. Very well done for that. Almost missed it because he had the uh, yeah. edge a little bit weird, but he managed to get it, so that's all that counts. He just tried to use the warp shard, realizes yeah. he hasn't used the portal yet, says, oh, darn it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and here he goes down the tower. <laughs> Man, stupid bloody tower. Grum, grum, grum. Yeah, meanwhile, uh, Tryhard will be able to come right out of the Alana room and warp to the bottom of the tower. And there's just a, like a lot of really small things that are playing towards Admiral Tryhard's favor right now. Yeah. And here goes Chanigan over towards the lower struggle juggle. Oh, and there's the money egg. Yeah, there it is. They already had Shiny Rock, which is pretty much all you need. Um, but uh, yeah, there's... There's a lot of, of money uh, in the Shiny Rock and the Gilded Egg, so uh, those are the two kind of things you want in a shop seed, where you're going to have to buy Ethers, you're going to have to buy uh, warp, a lot of Warp Shards to get around. Uh, Tryhard has some eye, or uh, eye Orbs equipped. Uh, trying to get that Orb Switching strat uh, on Alana where you can swap out of the eye orb and then swap back in create new eye orbs while the game thinks there are still eye orbs on the screen so uh, that does a lot of stacked damage without you having to actually hit any buttons oh but no and you know, Alana is at her half health mark and doing her desperation attack which is really prime time to pummel her yeah uh, she'll just stand right there, uh, and there you go. That's another quick fight. Uh, it wasn't as quick as the idol fight. I feel like Chanigan and Tryhard had about the same luck with that one. Yeah, the Alana fights seem to be a lot less... Uh, a lot of us have a pain in the butt for uh, Chanigan. In Earth Cave 23. And that is below the rod plate, so... That is below the rod. They are going to have to find that. Oh boy, Ice Orb out of Volcano 12 and Excal out of Volcano 5. Now, given that they had the Forced Fighter and they've got their tails. Depending on the rod location, we might actually see a Time Spinner BK mode here. Mm, I don't know, they both haven't done the library much yet. And there goes Chandian getting all the money he will ever need. Yep, selling that Gilded Egg, getting a cool 75000 They are both in the same in the same area, finally. Finally, <laughs> they're both in the same area. Yeah, but it's a small moment where they're, you know, giving each other a high five. It's not going to last that long, though, because, well... Tryhard's on his way out. <laughs> yep. Tryhard's on his way out to go get the rest of the present, and Chanigan's going to get the backer room, which is a rich room. It is. And uh, Shum is going to promote. Yeah, that's a that's a good move. Uh, looks like we're going to get a Teleria attachment hint. Um, and it's somewhere in the Final Fantasy 1 world? Uh, he may or not no, have had the hint points for it. Cause I didn't he may not have had the hint points for it. We don't get to see that part of the, uh, the console window, unfortunately. Yeah, because right now we're keeping an eye on Shum Bobby's console. And so it'll show it, or it would have shown up if it were in the Final Fantasy world, but... Uh, it may be in Time Spinner. Yeah. That is not required, but it is good information, uh, especially if uh, if Chanigan can do just like a quick dip of something that Tryhard won't do. Uh, that can boost his speed significantly while uh, Tryhard's kind of floundering on a, on a leg day. Right now it does appear that they are going to kind of be doing the same thing though so uh nothing chanigan does is going to uh kind of surpass try hard here but it is very interesting that with as much of a of a lead as kind of i had perceived try hard to have um 
I don't know what happened here, but Shanigan is kind of right on his heels. Yeah, they've been kind of pretty close. The biggest difference is like, okay, Tryhard has already checked the above water upper sealed cave stuff. I mean, he did get the <clears throat> excuse me, he did get the nether orbs out of it, but that was it. Yeah, the big key here will be, is there something required underwater in those caves? Uh, because that will be a double dip for Tryhard, but if Chanigan doesn't do it uh, until then, that will be a single dip. So that is kind of a big deal. Uh, and just as I said, they were both going to be in the same area. Chanigan is uh, <laughs> heading to the left side of past. He does not know that the water mask is buried behind the rod, though. So that is something to keep an eye out for. Yeah, he's hoping to get it before he needs it. And... Yeah. It is possible. Uh, by the way, uh, level 6, nuke, wall, and life. Oh my goodness. I don't know uh, where that ended up Yeah, I don't. Uh... <clears throat> being, but that is, uh, that is level 6, nuke, wall, and life, which is pretty big. Yeah, that's all Crescent Lake, and it's not as bad as it could be. I mean, it's not level 7 or 8, which... Just, it's horrible, horrible, horrible. Entertain you see that. Alright, it looks like Frozen Spire is coming out of the, the vanilla wheel room. And Sonny has got his floater and has, is going to ice. And it looks like Shum is heading towards ice as well. Alright, <clears throat> here we go. We get a bit of a of a do -si do down the yellow brick road in Ice Cavern here. Yep. To see how ice treats them, or how horrible ice treats each person, and which one gets treated worse. Yeah, the big question here is where's the rod? Uh, <laughs> I don't know if the Final Fantasy One player is going to have enough hit points for the rod uh, anytime soon. They've both done the volcano, which is that big chunk of chest that you can use to get a lot of hit equity right off the bat. Uh, but yeah, you know, we'll see where that is. Mm, Chanigan going for Upper Lake Serene before he actually has fire, because he doesn't have water well, mask, so... <laughs> yeah, he is, that's his only option, really. Well, speaking Jin of fire... Inferno. That's some offense right there. Yep, that's a... That's a big old meatball. Yep, Chanigan will have that... Uh, advantage going into Maw Caves if Admiral Tryhard doesn't do it. You can, uh, as I say, slowly walking down the hall throwing flaming meatballs <laughs> Yeah, gotta uh, love in it. the Maw Caves. Also, that was his first fire, so he backtracks and burns those vines real quick. Pretty, uh, pretty good to find where he found it. Cannot blame him on that. And let me yeah. see, it looks uh -oh. like he is hinting for the water mask and has and now discovered it that his rod locked. It, he learns it's rod locked, you know, but that's that's good information for him to know. He and learned. all right, the rod is an ordeal, so that's in their there own it world. Is. Um, has has Sonny hinted for that yet? I do not believe he has. So yeah, there we go. That's that's kind of a big deal. I feel like Sonny should have enough points to do so. Yeah. Maybe he'll just do it after the ice cave in general. Oh. Uh, time spinner gear one in ice cave. So they'll both be getting that. Yeah, required ice cave. No one likes to see that. Well, some people like to see that. They're wrong, <laughs> but they still like it. <laughs> Hashtag never ice. Yeah. So yeah, we're going to uh, have Admiral Tryhard finally going to the left, following in Chanigan's footsteps uh, without the water mask as well. Oh, and there is Sonny hinting for the rod. Yep, there it is. So um, the Time Spinner players are going to have to wait for that rod to be acquired in Mount Ordeal. Mount Ordeal. Long okay. game. Yeah. Castle of Ordeals. Castle of Ordeals. <laughs> <laughs> and um, then they're going to have to wait for them to go deep into Earth Cave behind the rod, uh, the behind the rod itself. So. Uh, both of them are going to be in pretty good position to take advantage of that water mask as soon as they acquire it. Oh my, it looks like Shumbabi did not fully clear Ice Cave oh because no. the elevator key card just came out of Ice Cave 3. And um, he, that means he didn't get the gear either. Yeah, 
Chanigan only has the nice one gear. Well. Yeah, Ice Cave 12, which is in the six pack. Ice Cave 3 is because of odd numbering things. It's the, <clears throat> excuse me, it's one of the chests that are in the three above the hole you have to drop down to get to the vanilla incentive chest. Yeah, that's not going to be uh, very good for carry on my wayward son. Yeah, I, I'm pretty sure Shum, as Devious RNG, one of our trackers pointed out in chat, uh, Shum very likely went, all right, go get the rod, go to Earth and get that stuff taken care of. Yep. Uh, after all, like you do get all of the Time Spinner's items when they finish, so prioritizing the Time Spinner finish uh, is a meaningful strategy in this. It is almost always going to be the first one to finish regardless, so helping the Time Spinner player along is great. Uh, there's a Succubus hairpin behind the fire checks. Yeah. Uh, that is a pretty big find. Yep, and Tryhard just pulled out his meatball as well. Yep. There's our first key card, the C, well, besides the elevator key card, the, the C key card, not very useful. <laughs> lab coat. Um, I think they have an Empress robe. I prefer the lab coat personally, but, uh, you know, personal preference on wanting to go all in on offense versus defense. Yeah, best defense is murdering everything before it has a chance to hit you. That's, that's how I, I look at it. Full agreement. Uh, so this is kind of going to be a weird timing thing. Will Admiral Tryhard get that double jump in the succubus hairpin before he gets the water mask? Yeah, because if he gets the water mask before, oh man, this this could this could be a. Uh bit of an issue that could arise depending upon how quickly Sonny gets back and gets to Earth Cave if he bothers to check everything in Earth Cave or if he just heads down to floor four to loot it out because yeah, that'll be that'll be really interesting to watch I don't know how much time uh it'll really take to re-dip into ice in order to get those uh to get that gear at bare minimum the uh the only other thing there is you know, that's going to require a hint almost definitely on Chanigan's part uh, that could be going to, that could have go to anything else. That, that hint could go to another piece of the time spinner. We have a Radiant Orb. That's a uh, good orb for using with the orb swapping or with the uh, Star of Lachium. And there's the, there's the water mask. So Chanigan going back to the past. Yep. Now, I will fully admit, because I am restreaming, I also have access to check and see some of the stuff that's not actually being shown, which includes Chanigan's uh, terminal, or his, uh, not terminal, his uh, archipelago client. And it looked like when he hinted for that Teleria, it's in left elevator chest. Oh, dear. Yep. That is required elevator key card. In order to get the dash, it's not a, re dash is no, by no means required. And left elevator chest, the way this seat is going, it may, like Tryhard may never go do it either. <laughs> like, yeah, he may just stick to no risky dashing that the you entire ever do time. Van to Grace Tower. Yeah, he may very well just stick to risky dashing the entire time, which yes, it can catch you up some somewhat, but it's, you know, can, cause problems as well if you do it incorrectly and you end up like oh not turning around before you dash yeah and also you know you, your hands can get tired yeah all right we got the felician crown we got the glass pumpkin we got a defense sword out of earth cave and it looks like sonny is clearing earth on his way down like Chanigan was hoping that he had the pendulum, but he doesn't. Yeah, he does have the shadow seal. Um, so that is, you know, taking intentionally taking a poison is really good, uh, really good play in the mock cave. Uh, the quicker you can get rid of those, oh, he has the he has the star lock and equipped anyway. Yeah. If he would switch to the shadow seal here, he would be able to kill some of these things coming up a lot faster, gain some cheap levels without having to really stop his momentum. Ooh, and Admiral Tryhard checking out Yas Queen and getting a bust. He got well, a Max Aura, or no, I'm sorry, not Max Aura, he got an Aura Blast. He is kind of just waiting for that Water Mask right now, so, you know, you gotta do something. 
you hinting for security key card D. It's in Dwarf Cave 5. Is that behind TNT? Uh, that is actually behind a key. Uh, it's behind the key. Got it. I knew it was behind something. Yeah, the key or a level 15 thief. Because level 15 thief, then you can pop those locks. Yeah, so uh, that is... That is an interesting uh, thing to find because that is going to be a required item. Yep. Can't get out of the library without it. And also, it's three it's three items in the laboratory, so it's it's very nice to have. Yep. All right. Well, there's the gas mask for uh, Admiral Tryhard. Yeah, he hadn't cleared uh, he hadn't cleared up this uh, this room yet, so he's just kind of handling it now. All right, and it looks like now we have Shum going back into Volcano, probably going to finish clearing it out and potentially going down to punch Carry in the face. Uh, just, why is he not going to get the water mask? Oh, because he already did get it. He ducked into um, Earth Cave and got out of there right quick. Chanigan's already down in the caves. Oh, I'm sorry. You said Shun Bobby. I thought you said Sonny. I <laughs> mistake. That's all right. Yeah. Names are names are all things, which uh, half the time I yeah. get them wrong. You know. Sonny <laughs> is on his way to get that water mask. So, yeah. Um, He'll be getting it real There quick. it is. Yeah. yeah. Tryhard um, is just going to Warp Shard there and uh, follow in Chanigan's footsteps here. This is going to be really weird because, again, Chanigan has a bit of a lead here technically, but without that gear in ice, and we just don't know when uh, Shun Bobby is going to double dip back into ice, if ever, without a hint, uh, it's going to be really strange uh, to kind of see two things. Will Admiral Tryhard go snag that dash? He doesn't know the location of it. Um... And will he pick up that double jump at any point? Okay. Um, and now I realize why Shun Bobby has gone back into Volcano. He gonna kill a bunch of dragons. Ah, yes. That's that's some good experience. His fighter's already at 296 HP. More importantly, his thief is at level 13. So ah, he's getting closer. I see now. All right. All right, we have Chanigan uh, stepping into the 1v1 me with the Maw. And just going with the Ice Orb, which, you know, or not Ice Orb, the uh, Eye Orb. Honestly, yeah, he's got Light Wall stacking on there, too. You must have remembered. Uh, but yeah, the, uh, he's got, yeah, he's got the, uh, the blue orb on on that one. Yeah, he started, he switched to the, uh, to the blue orb. Uh, there is some value in using the eye orb, even if something is strong against it, if you know how to do the orb swapping. Uh, but those light walls were going to be the meat of his damage there. Yeah, and I mean... So with that, uh, Chanigan does have all three of the past bosses completed. Yep, now he just needs to get the rest of his time spinner bits. Yeah, and a D card and a B card. Yep. <laughs> because I don't know if he's going to get that elevator card anytime soon, which would be the way to get into the military hangar. Yeah. Oh, man. You can get there with the C card and the uh, the uh, B key card, so or the D key card and the elevator key card. Yeah, but you can't get into the lab. You cannot get into the lab. You can get all the way to the teleporter before the lab, which is almost as good, but not quite. <laughs> yeah. You can get to the point where it'll go, no, 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 and make you cry. Yeah, and, yeah, and then... Uh, you get a lot of checks in Military Hangar, which will build up that hint equity. So you really just do kind of want to, even if you don't know where things are, it still is good to go high density. So even if you're completely baffled, uh, you can build up that hint, those hint points. Uh, it looks like Waterhook just proved to be a pile of cash, which yay for the FFR player, but at this point they probably don't need it. Well, that's a that's a yay for Tryhard. Uh, we, we mentioned earlier, Tryhard went down to those areas earlier and anything that he does here will be a double dip uh where if, if chanigan gets one on the first dip down in here then uh that's going to be a slight advantage for chanigan all right and that grind for level 15 paying off for shun bobby because the oxia elb is hiding in the elfland closet which that opens up another 30 some odd checks that's a lot of checks and uh we'll see if he goes to dorf 
I would be surprised if he doesn't, honestly, because it's right there. It's a quick, like, ten chests. Cube is in the elevator. I saw it, it just... Oh, it just man. scrolled right past it. The cube is also behind elevator. Cube is in the elevator card chest. Oh, it's in the elevator card chest, so it is not behind elevator, but yeah. it is in the area. <laughs> and Chanigan, there's his nether orb, and he's um, probably going... Oh, man, I hope Tryhard didn't do this before he went to the towers. Tryhard doesn't have the C card, so he will not be able to get that cube. True, but he does have the elevator card. So, yeah, but the, the, the yeah. C card, it, the, the elevator card in vanilla is behind that C door. Yeah. Yeah, I was thinking, oh, wait, if there was a military hangar. No, wait, there's no access to the military hangar. Oh, and Tryhard doesn't have the uh, hairpin yet either. Right, yeah, no, that's going to be something that he probably won't check at this point unless he's desperate because that is in uh, the burned fire checks in Lake Desolation. Yeah. Chanigan is going to get his two checks here after beating the Maw, uh, so I guess that's something that Tryhard could do after beating the Maw, and then that would get him his Succubus hairpin. I think oh, there's security key card B from the Dwarf Cave and, and the D, D from the Dwarf Cave. Oh my! Wow! I am honestly surprised Chanigan didn't stop what he was doing and warp right back right now. Uh, right. Uh, time spinner wheel is at Lafane. Oh Lefane. my goodness! So they have to just the they have to the find herb? the slab and translate it. The slab. That. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Whew. And it looks like Chanigan's going down to do the uh, lower lake desolation checks. Oh, uh, slab is in Varndacroft left bottom floor. That's easy enough so for him to get in to. The tower. Uh, turns out Varndergroth's tower's got a lot today. Yeah, I know, right? Varndergroth's tower is a little stacked. Yeah, and without that elevator key card, uh, it's going to be really weird here to kind of see what's going on. Uh, we do have the Oxiel uh, checks coming in here for Shumbabi, so that's going to be a ton of checks. you got to believe he's going to be like, all right, I left something behind sooner or later, right? Uh, unless he gets an active hint for it, he's going to hope that there is nothing required in there, is what I'm thinking. Yeah, Oof. I guess at this point, they're still looking for time spinner pieces. Uh, four for Chanigan, three for Admiral Tryhard, um, and uh, Admiral Tryhard just, yeah, took the elevator up, um, had already checked the bat ledge, so there's really no value in doing the warp zone reset of this room in order to drop past the the elevator so uh he's just climbing up we already know this is plasma geyser i believe yeah all right well uh we're checking the skeleton and uh it was skeleton was just an ether it was just an ether uh so yeah we have uh, Chanigan's going to be going to the right here, um, wondering where everything is and hoping that the uh, good old Shumbabi will send it to him. There's a tablet, which is not a good use in these flags, unfortunately. Oh, yeah, tablet, absolutely useless here. And there's the pendulum, a little late yeah, to not be poisoned, point. but... And we've got Sonny making the Sky 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 play, and Shum diving C. Uh, there's Alan's bangle. Yeah. Uh, it may find. be a little late for that but... to be super relevant, but that does double your experience points, and in my opinion, it's better than basically anything else you can equip in that slot. Uh, in the end, it's going to re uh, result in more stat boost than any piece of equipment that you can equip there is ever going to give you. Yep. Alright, and Chanian climbing up the tower and fading the sea card check. And, ooh, Sea Shrine 26 with the sash. Security key card B check for and Admiral Tryhard is already there. Sonny! So... Sonny! Go to the Dwarf Cave, damn it! <laughs> yeah, Sonny, Sonny was already going there. Uh, yeah, we have, uh, yes, Shanigan is going to be doing as much of the tower as he can do, which is everything that isn't guarded by the, oh, wait, where did he find Sash? 
Uh, the sash came to him from Sea Shrine. From Sea Shrine? That's... Yeah. <laughs> hey, that's a big deal. Uh, Sonny and Admiral do not know where Oxhale is. Yeah, and uh, Sonny hasn't popped the locks on the Elven Closet yet. Though, given the fact that he's heading towards Astos's Closet to clear that out right now, I'm thinking he'll probably be heading to Elven Closet soon. And Vandegroth Bridge holding onto Matoya's crystal because eh, she doesn't need to be able to see. <laughs> you know, what could, what could come wrong from, you know, angering the weird sisters? Uh, so the shards right now, as it stands, it looks like Sonny is at 19 shards and Shumbabi is at 15 shards. Got a quicker uh, so eye than I do. that is a slight advantage to them. Got a quicker eye than I do on it. Oh, I'm just looking at the notes that Devious is keeping <laughs> Shout out to Devious. All right, yeah, paying attention to the notes. That's something I should probably do as well. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't remember exactly what it was in the elevator. Or in the elevator uh, yeah, oh, the, the cube. Valeria attachment. Oh, there. no, it was the uh, cube the... that Chanigan just picked up. But yeah, Admiral's oh, got his Teleria. Great. Oh, yeah. But this is this is still the point where Admiral Tryhard cannot get uh, cannot get the right side of the tower right now because he doesn't of have the no C, C card. card. Though he does have the D, the B card, oh, he, no, so he, has he can the B go card, underneath. So he's fine yeah. now. Yeah, I miss I miss Sonny going to Dwarf Cave. That's a quick quick couple of things there. So there's yeah. that. So he does have access to everything in the tower except for the one check that is behind the C door. <laughs> Yeah, which is, eh, one check, who cares? Right. I have no idea what it is. It hasn't been shown to be anything at this point, so... <laughs> yeah, at this point, as far as we know, it's vestigial. Yep. Although, with all the missing pieces of the time spinner here... You never know. Uh, and there's no. the slab behind oh. the sea door. Oh, crap. <laughs> Unbelievable. Oh, I forgot they did hint for that. For some reason, I got left and right confused because I'm smart. Wait, Chanigan hint? Oh, no, they did hint for the slab. You're right. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. So, I don't... I, the C card was in Upper Desolation Secret. Upper Desolation... Uh, it's... it's <laughs> I don't know when Tryhard's going to do that. He'll find his Succubus hairpin when he does. Yeah. Uh, but that's going to be hard required right now. Yeah, and he's... Oh, man, this this might be a bit of an issue for him. I mean, we're still looking at that uh, elevator key card and... Um, gear 1. And gear 1 in the ice cave. So there's basically two checks uh, that are kind of left behind. Uh, this is going to be very intense. How about this? Look, we're at 46 and a half minutes and they're nowhere close to finishing. Are you proud of yourself, Kate? I feel better now. <laughs> like, the seats the themselves so are, are kind enough, but the placement of everything is kind of garbage. That's, that's... Uh, the slab guards the time spinner wheel. Yep. Their security key card A, that's even more of a distraction for Tryhard. Yeah. Just a librarian robe. Yes, Shada. And a shot out of Sea Shrine 3 and 1. So I think Shum might actually almost be in go mode. There's the spindle on the... for free on the way. <laughs> you might need this where you're going. Yeah. I missed it when Admiral picked it up, but yeah. And yeah, I mean, Chanigan, the, uh, the sash versus the dash here is kind of what we're looking at. Yep. And uh, that'll be um, even bigger if... Well, no, he's not going to be able to get the 
he's not going to get the the C card without getting this or for the slab without getting the the uh, hairpin. Right, but you're looking. He's doing lab without hairpin, without sash. It's not quick. <laughs> it's not very fast. Yeah. So if he that's very if he true. plans on full clearing, um, uh, there's a bottle. Uh, if he plans on full clearing, uh, the lab here, uh, Chanigan's going to be able to do it a lot faster than him, even with the dash. I think because uh, just the light wall climb without double jump in the lab is is just painstaking. Mm. Yeah, just kind of bull. And honestly, I... In my casual playthroughs, I... Uh, or even my AP playthroughs of this, basically something that's not competitive, I find myself clipping a lot, and I don't remember the last time I actually did the lab. Oh, yeah? <laughs> well, actually, no, the last time I did the lab was the last race I was in. <laughs> Most of the time, yeah, I just non AP like... seeds seem to require lab and emperor's tower a lot more frequently than uh, AP seeds for some reason. Oh yeah, because you get so many other places where everything's spread out. Yeah, and you, you also have the uh, the tablets are usually turned on, and uh, we just saw Chanigan pass up Admiral Tryhard in the lab here. Yeah, Admiral Tryhard by virtue of having that sash and not having to do the light wall climb. Yeah. A shard was powering the lab today. Hey, it's a mighty powerful shard. Oh, and looks like Chanigan's getting ready to go, to go go down to Lab Spider Hell as he equips the Radiant Orbs. Yeah, it's a good play. Um, he does have the Shadow Seal. He doesn't. He isn't missing a whole lot of health right now, but uh, it'll still deal quite a bit. He's got some decent gear, Eternal Crown included. Uh, so that's a. Uh, it's gonna be a quick check down here. I also think uh, some people picked... like to do it later, so you can teleport out. Uh, it's just you know, <laughs> just some jerky, just some jerky, a jerky of questionable origin. Yeah, we're just gonna leave that here. Thanks. <laughs> it's not as good as finding jerky on the skeleton. <laughs> That's that very true. <laughs> and it looks like Admiral Tryhard's probably gonna be going up to Experiment Thirteen here in just a moment. Yeah, and uh, Chanigan's right there on his heels. I don't know if they peaked uh, Experiment 13. Oh, there's the oh, sash. Yeah. So there you go. Just after he's finished climbing the lab with just <laughs> light wall, he gets given the sash. Oh boy, lab glasses. Yeah, so if he would have peaked that, he would have known that and not had to do Experiment 13. But I don't know if Archipelago players are, are accustomed to just peeking in and seeing what is there. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I personally do, because I, if I don't have to deal with this thing, I don't want to. Yeah, it's especially a pain uh, on when you're trying to get the glass pumpkin by doing every boss without taking damage or using time stop. So, yep. And it, it might be the hardest one. <laughs> and it looks like Tryhard has picked up uh, comparatively again and is, well... Probably going to get to uh, Blob Bomb first. Probably, yeah. Having the dash and the sash is uh, significantly quicker here. Uh, Chanigan had made up some time, but now you'll now we're going to really see how much, exactly how much faster uh, the Teleria attachment is than just walking. He's got them orb, the eye orbs swapping in and out. He's getting a ton of damage. And he's got... Uh, Flubbing goes another orb for a second there, but yeah, he, Genza should be dead momentarily. Yeah. And there it is. Yeah, I did not know about that little thing with the eye orb beforehand. Yeah, it's actually doable with every orb, but it's just not worth it for a lot of them. Yeah, like, I'll, I do orb swapping with Radiant Orb or with, you know, Gun Orb or a, even Iron Orb if I have to, but I did not know about the additional stacking that can happen with the uh, eye orb. Yeah, shout out to James KT for finding that. Specifically at the Genza fight one time. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And, and there's that Succubus hairpin. Uh, it does look like uh, Admiral Tryhard will be getting his C key card right there. Uh, did Sonny hint for the slab? I do not recall. Did Admiral Tryhard hint for the wheel? <laughs> I don't think he has. So that's 
This is going to be really a really, really interesting uh, go at this. Uh, yeah, it's Chanigan also kind of demolishing there. And heading into Emperor's Tower. Let's hear it for actually having to go into Emperor's Tower in this tournament, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> the best dungeon in the game. Hey, it has the best music. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> There's the time spinner wheel hint at Lefane. And here comes, I'm assuming, the slab hint uh from sonny here momentarily as soon as he out, as soon as he's out of this fight lefane shaking fist lefane ain't taking the walk down there sonny Ooh. is in go mode punchy fists and the empire War out of the saw tower. A final fantasy one randomizer player be in go mode before the time spinner player in this tournament uh right now <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought. Uh, yeah, Tryhard's going to be dashing uh, through. Um, yeah, they're going to be dashing through uh, this area, and they're probably going to make up a lot of ground on Shanigan. Uh, he's probably got another hint. Does not. Uh, uh, Dad's left tower balcony. Uh, so that'll be coming up real quick for Shanigan and Tryhard. That is gear two, which will be no mode for Admiral Tryhard. Yeah. Uh, he knows where the wheel is. Um, I didn't see a hint for Slab yet. I have not either. I think he's probably just going to be like, all right, you know what? You'll get it when I finish, because he is eating a whole bunch of slimes right now. Just grinding up the XP. All right, Chanigan's got his gear, too. Try hard. Stopped by the cake shop. Yeah, and there's point, the Slab uh, hint. There's the slab hit. <laughs> and Tryhard stops middle of the room like, all right, I'm out. Yeah, unfortunately for Chanigan and Shumbabi, we know everything else in Dad's tower is dead. Yep. Spagoot way up there. Way up there. Feels Spagoot. bad. Ugh. <laughs> and it looks like Tryhard may have forgotten which one is left and right as well. <laughs> it's good to know I'm not the only one. So, yeah, this he's going to be picking up um, the cube. Yeah, he picked up the cube in the elevator keycard chest. And um, he'll be getting the slab momentarily. He just has to get to the left side of the tower here. He's thinking, I don't remember where this is. <laughs> yeah, Chanigan here is... Uh, I, I gotta feel like he's building up hint equity for gear one right now. Um, yeah. Going into Zarian Cave is when you're not required to do so. It's not something you really want to do. Ooh, and we have a robot chicken appearing on Chew Bobby's screen. Looks like he's actually taking the time to take it down, because, eh, Robot Chicken, that thing's full of XP. So, uh, with the White Mage quite online here, and with the fighter at the high levels uh, that he is, like, when do you think, you know, is, is this Shumbabi just, just wanting to be sure of it? I think he's coming up here to kill Tiamat, and Warmek was just an added bonus. And uh, there we go. We're going to have the slab. Slab has been translated. <laughs> and speaking of levels, uh, Chanigan will be getting plenty of levels if he can stay alive down here. He is going to get a save point here, so that's good for him. <laughs> and we see Tryhard, you know, making sure Linnaeus is getting her her exercise in, you know, making sure she's getting her squats done. Doing some squats. And I am not sure if Shum has translated his slap yet either. I think he's actually pretty much been in Sky since he got it. 
Yeah, uh, I think that might be true. I don't know if he's translated it. I think he might think, you know what? If it's, it's not go mode. So, like, he's not really in a rush to do so. Yeah. Uh, but uh, he's about to find out what he missed. And here's the gear one hint. And Arr. that's... Does he not have enough... Oh, no, he was re-hinting on the wheel. Uh oh And now here's hinting for gear one and finding out Ice, Qua Ice Cave 12. Yep. And that's really going to be, I think, the main difference in this run here. Uh, the dash was very helpful, but I think the sash helped Chanigan almost as much. Um, it's just, you know, missing uh, the elevator key card uh, probably would have given Chanigan the dash. Uh, as he did tower before Tryhard did. I think that would have been a gigantic advantage uh, uh, for Carry On My Wayward Son. But right now, I mean, Admiral and uh, Sonny are about to both kind of finish at the same time. <laughs> yeah, that's what it looks like, because we've got Sonny Wrath <laughs> taking on uh, Tia, or not Tia, Lich 2 right now. You know, speed bump. And, and there the bump went. Yep. And we see Tryhard just moving his moving along in, <clears throat> excuse me, in the uh, pyramid. All right, carry two, getting some invis stacks out. Nothing too much. Good fast going out on the fighter. Fighter swings that X Cal. Four hits, two fifty six. And we'll spare one of the spare nukes. Sure, four hits, one twenty six out of the thief. Six hits, three ninety nine. Down goes carry two. Gosh. Yeah, he's hinting for elevator key card and doesn't have the doesn't have the points for it. He doesn't have the points for it. All right, crack into doing crack into things, except he hit the black mage, not the white mage. I think Sonny's rights confused him because you know his black mage kind of looks like a white mage. <laughs> and Kraken That's goes. Really not fair to Kraken at that point. And Kraken goes, hey, that looks like a white mage. I'm gonna crush it. Yeah, I mean, Shanigan is kind of just doing whatever he can right now, uh, but this is going to be hard in uh, Hard Wrath's favor, no pun intended. Yeah. Ooh, it looks like Tia 2 bounced Sonny Wrath out of Tope, though. And we see Tryhard moving on to Nightmare. I expect this fight have to be the academic. one player finish before the time spinner player. That would just be ridiculous. Uh, that would be a sign that I did my job. <laughs> <laughs> and we see Tryhard doing the light wall stacking and making use of orb swapping with a Radiant Orb as well, just pouring the damage out on this dead horse. Yeah, quick, quick damage here. Uh, both both ways to deal Radiant damage. Just Well, I guess there's a third way that's not as good. And, but uh, the um, both yeah. ways to deal Radiant... Oh! Oh, he almost took a death right before that final blow, but exclamation points in chat. For Admiral Tryhard, finishing up in just over an hour. Yeah, official race time dot GG time of one hour, one minute, and fifteen seconds. So GG. get your yeah, get half your G's out. Yeah, half your G's out. Uh, get your exclamation points out, and uh, looks like uh, we've got a Kelly fight that is going uh, round two here. Yeah, this once again the carry fight I expect to be academic because carry two, either she's a gatekeeper or she's a paper doll, and it seems like this one is a paper doll. Yeah, it looks like Shumbabi's just trying to beat the game uh, to get uh, Chanigan what he needs, and in the meantime Chanigan is just working on you know grinding things up and you know killing a bunch of giantesses because you know why not? Hoping for a chaos horn. Yeah. Oh, and Shadow Mr. T pointing out that Kraken 2 has a double nuke. That's rough. That's... I feel better. <laughs> hey, you, you should feel pretty good. I feel vindicated on that. Alright, and there's Lich. For, for Shumbabi. <laughs> Lich 2 again. Carry 2 yeah. again. But it looks like Sonny has actually gotten through crack and is on to Tia 2. Yep. And Tia 2 hits kind of 
like a lightweight because didn't even kill that white mage when he smacked her. And well, then I say that as soon as the thief gets eaten. <laughs> there went that thief. I retract my previous statement. Bane ineffective there. There it is. All right. Here we go. Let's see how this chaos rolls. <clears throat> Make sure I'm nice and, you know, lubricated for this fight. Yeah. <clears throat> Swapping out the X count for the Vorpal plus two. It's a Vorpal, but it's plus, so it's half acceptable, I guess. Not a, not a Vorpal fan, personally. <clears throat> I'm taking notes over here for when I jump into <laughs> FF1R. Join us. I'm trying. I've got a lot of stuff to do. Yeah, that's a fair call. There are a lot of video games. Do you know how many video games there are? <laughs> All right, Shum is through Kraken 2, but we have Defense Sword from that thief. Uh, we've got, a, it looks like, probably a swing from the knight. we got a Blizzard coming out of Chaos. Uh, doing some chip damage. Looks like uh, Sonny's probably got all three ribbons and Fizz 2 coming out. Getting that first evade stack up for everybody. Three evade stacks for the for the thief. And uh, swing. Seven hits, 237. It's about ex expected from a non-buffed Vorpal. Ass 2 coming out, but we got an Ice 2 coming out from Chaos, doing some chip damage, nothing too big. Second evasion stack going up for everybody else. That thief is probably at evasion cap right now, given the buff. Three hits, 49. Gonna need some tempers there. Fast comes out just after the nick of time. Seven hits, 386 on Chaos. Chaos still standing. Plus now to cure three onto that fighter, because fighter is getting dangerously low on hit points, and you're just gonna swing. Eight hits, 269. Lightning 2 coming out. Chip, chip, chip. Swing from the ninja, 7 hits, 148. Bane, because why not? Cure 3 comes out, bring that fighter closer to not being dead. How good are you doing two chaos fights at the same time? Not good at all, but we got a Cure 4 nope. coming out on that. We got a Zap coming out, no one's infected. Cure 3 landing on the thief, and Lock 2 going out, making chaos a little bit easier to hit. Lock the poor man's fast. Looks like we're getting more invade stacks and fire three because just do something. <laughs> seven hits, 120 there. Night swing, seven hits, 215. Vorpal doing Vorpal things. Viz two coming out. Three stacks of invision or er, evade on everybody else. Night swings, eight hits, 148. Thief swings, seven hits, 147. Nuclear from chaos that we have not seen on Sonny's side. Oof. Yeah, yeah that's rough. That is rough. That's a dodge for Sonny. Yeah. That's a real lucky dodge for Sonny. Crack coming out from Chaos as well, and Ice 3 coming out oh. from Chaos. Ooh, down goes Shun. That's a reset. Yep. That Chaos was not playing nice. Uh, we've got the Fire 3 coming out, doing negligible damage. 8 hits, 216 from that fighter. Oh, whoa for not having Fade. Cure 4 coming out, making sure people are staying topped off. 8 hits, 258. 8 hits, 64, and that was enough. Get your GG's out for Hard Wrath. Sonny Wrath finished up with official race time .gg time of 106.40. And with that, Carry On My Way Ward Sun has forfeited from this one, giving Hard Wrath one win. That's a best of three, remember, so this is not the end of this tournament. Yeah. And uh, Shum Bobby has declined the post-race interview because he had something else come up. But I'm going to be dragging the other three into the booth right now. All right. GG's, gents. Hello. GG's. You get, GGs. You Thanks, hey, GGs. We asked for one. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yeah. We, we asked for one. We Sid, get it. Seed and we got it. <laughs> I, I, I'm not going to lie. I was worried that it wasn't going to be a garbage seed when I saw the start. <laughs> And then you see where the last gear's located. Yeah. And it's just like, yes. Yeah. Well, it wasn't just so, that, yeah. but like, yeah. We were discussing, uh, this might be the first match of the tournament where FF1 was in go mode before Time Spinner. <laughs> That's how you yep. Know. Oh, yeah, that was <laughs> yeah. hot garbage. Uh, man, 
I, I, I just want to say our route, routing, me and Shun, was just complete garbage. Yeah, uh, it, it, it had the we chance. We routed everything bad. I We hinted at the wrong time, like... Yeah, oh, you had the chance for a lot of things. It's just that, like, when you hinted for that rod and Shum noped out of Ice Cave. Yeah. Because the elevator key card was also in Ice Cave. It was in Ice 3. Okay, it wasn't. Oh, man. Yeah. <laughs> it was a rough. Yeah. That was basically oh. the defining. That was basically the defining uh, moment of the race. Uh, we didn't quite know it yet, but it, it did turn out to be uh, very important. Uh, both the gear and the elevator key card being in that cave. Oh. That felt bad. That feels way worse now. <laughs> Whoops. Yeah. <laughs> Nothing to feel bad uh, about. It, it was, it was you my know. call. It was my call for um, tell, telling Shun to leave Ice Cave because I needed that water mask like pretty soon. You and me both, Janik. <laughs> and then C card blocking the cube. I think uh, this is the first one I've no. done in the tournament that I did no. not clear sky. I mixed them up. Uh, C card was actually blocking the slab. The yeah. Slab, Even yep. still, like I think this was the first first AP race that I did not clear sky. Well, technically, for Chanigan, C card was also blocking the cube. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So Sonny, also one thing, you got kind of lucky with that chaos fight. I got really lucky with that chaos fight. You didn't see the nuclear and the crack. Mm hmm. I mean. Nuclear would have been the only bad thing. Crack, I had three ribbons in the Aegis shield. Yeah, okay. Yeah. But yeah, yeah that... Uh, Shum forgot to, to move the... Uh, uh, a ribbon, I think, from his... White Mage? Oh, to, no. to the Knight. Yeah, that's why Crack uh, got him. That would explain it then, yeah. Also got very lucky on Crack in two, because I saw Nuke come out, and the second time around, I got mid-rolled... Low mid rolled. Oh yeah. Yeah, the two nukes uh, also got us. The low roll. Didn't see the second. Yeah. Yeah. Back, back to first. Back. back to back nukes. Yeah. <laughs> good, good reason to be like, no, nah, I'm done. Yeah. Very much so. It was a very very entertaining race though. There was a lot of what ifs. Uh, there was a lot of, uh, man, when is when is tryhard gonna hint for the wheel? <laughs> um, <laughs> Because if you never did that, I don't know if you ever think, oh, well, I should find the slab. Yeah. <laughs> Lafayne! Yeah. yeah, my typical strat is when I'm nearing go mode, I just, like, stock up on hint points and just hint for all the time center pieces that I need. <laughs> it's a fair cop. Yeah, so the, the scary thing is, like, we were so convinced that this was a neck and neck and it ended up being very neck and neck uh, until the very end mm. uh but we were neck and neck uh we, we we thought it wasn't very close until chanigan hinted for the wheel yeah. then shumbabi hinted for the slab and they knew all of that stuff and you didn't even have the c key card yet yeah. and so we were like this could be anybody's this could be anybody's uh and try hard you upper lake the upper lake, the it's upper lake run, which had the succubus hairpin also, which Chanigan had a long time before you. Uh, it was just, it was a very, very close, uh, very close race. Uh, Chanigan having the sash a long time before uh, you did, but you found Teleria attachment, and Chanigan never found Teleria attachment. Mm -hmm. So, um, it was it, there was a lot in, going in both teams' favors uh, this entire race, and it made it incredibly fun to watch and incredibly fun to commentate. Yeah, this was this was definitely a good one. This was a good kickoff for the finals. Speaking of which, uh, I'm assuming you guys have no idea on when your next match is going to be scheduled. Yeah, no clue. Uh, next one, not not tomorrow. That's for sure. Uh, I'm unavailable. So, all right, I get a day off. Yeah, we're we're gonna schedule <laughs> it as soon as possible. Anyway. <laughs> yeah, that that makes sense because you know trying to get them all in in this week. Yeah, it's it's rough. It's not the, it's not the best week for me, at least. Oh no, I got a lot of stuff uh, planned. <laughs> but uh, we we we'll be able. We we'll do it. Yeah, yeah. I'm looking forward to it. Uh, if I can, I would love to hop in for comms. If uh, if the lovely FF1R community will have me. It's not just the FF1R community. I mean, 
it's we're trying to make sure we're including the time spinner community as much as we can it just happens to be that the tournament organizers all come from the ff1r community because we've done a lot more tournaments than time spinner has we've, we've done one we've, we've done one <laughs> I mean, the FFR server is basically a time spinner server anyway. <laughs> Up to a certain point, yeah. <laughs> time spinner at least, east. At least during nighttime. Yeah. It's the time spinner server east. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Which is kind of funny because actually all the time spinner players, or at least the ones who run in the AP seats at night, are west coast. Oh, time spinner server west then. <laughs> excluding, excluding this person who's in central time zone. Hey, uh, you run on west coast hours. You're honorary west coast. Yeah, I, I mean, even though we're closer to east play. coast time. <laughs> but yeah, uh, this is round one of up to three. It is best of three. Uh, congratulations, Hard Wrath, on taking round one. I I kind of selfishly hope that this is kind of back and forth. I know uh, Tryhard and Sonny beat Shunbabi and Shanigan uh, during the regular season. Uh, <laughs> Shunbabi and Shanigan finished first in the 2v2v2. Uh, Hard Wrath, you finished first in the fi first finals match. Uh, it just would be forth. poetic if this went to three, wouldn't it? It, it really yeah. would be if a decider was forced, just because yeah. that adds extra drama to the finals and even though just watching the finals is a lot of fun, there's even more fun when you have that extra drama added into the finals. It really is. That that final third match, winner takes all, really does uh, put some extra weight on everything. Uh, but before we get to the next round, I know you have yet to schedule it, uh, just thoughts on today's seed, how kind of you're, you're feeling for the next seed that you play. Uh, anything come up today that kind of made you change your perspective that you're looking forward to, or you want to keep that all close to the vest? Let's start with uh, let's start with Chanigan and Shumbabi. Uh, no, not really. I we had, we had a few trash seed um, on ours during our practice, so um, we just we just need to stick on our guns and like don't stress about it. Just go with the flow. Yeah. All right. About what it. about uh, you, Tryhard and Sonny? We asked for a dumpster fire for a reason. <laughs> hey, you <laughs> did get it. <laughs> the thing on that is most of the seeds that we've generated for practice, and by we, I mean I've generated, have been dumpster fires. So mm -hmm. we've had a lot of time to practice our routing. We've had a, seeds we've like had a seed with me finishing Time Spinner at 1 hour 34 minutes. Oof. Ooh wee! Ouch! <laughs> yeah, and that was a disgusting seed. And then I finished FFR less than a minute later. Man, that's that's yeah, that's that rough. is rough. <laughs> it, it really was. But oh, yeah, uh, I would not be allowed to be on stream if we were playing that seed. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm. I'm definitely looking forward to the rest of these finals. It's this has been an amazing tournament and seeing it come so close to an end it kind of sucks, but at the same time holy cow has it been amazing. It has been a lot of fun. Uh it was fun to take part in and it's been really fun to observe. I I can tell you that. Yeah, this has been a great tournament. I'm not going to lie. Um, and I am looking forward to the next one that comes around. But anywho, before we get further off topic, let's, uh, we should probably wrap this one up and give uh, RPG Limit back their channel and let you guys get figuring out when your next one's going to be scheduled. Like so, to me. um, yeah, Shanigan, we'll start with you on this one because, uh, you know, you're the one representing the rest of your team. <laughs> yeah, GG guys. Um, that was hate again uh, thank you for that seed <laughs> it's exactly what we ask so yeah thank you <laughs> but it just sucked that's uh, that our routing was just that bad but eh, it happens just we just need to to be better next time all right and uh sonny let's go for you next man chan again <laughs> GG's to you, Shum, if you're watching. GG's, I'm not sure if you are. That 
what happened to Shum with Chaos and Kraken both royally sucks. Uh, I I had a feeling that with our Topher dives, it was going to come down to luck, and our team motto has always been just add luck. And that's what happened on my end. On your guys' end, it did not work out as well. But sometimes that's what happens, as randomizers tend to do. That's why it's a best of three, right? Exactly. Yep. And uh, try hard. G GG's to everyone. Uh, again, hey, thanks for this seed. It was everything I could have hoped for, including down to the fact that Teleria was in such a weird spot. <laughs> like even before Teleria, I've I've been like practicing movement and tech so much. Like I actually felt like I got to do what I've been practicing. <laughs> it was great. <laughs> yeah, how are your uh, how are your carpels right now? <laughs> I'm glad there's no game tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> well, congratulations again, Hard Wrath. You both played amazingly. It was really fun to watch and commentate both of your progress through each of your seeds. Uh, you could see everything that you were struggling with and all the frustrations. It was it was actually uh, fantastic to watch everybody uh, try to navigate what the seed wanted them to do. Wanted them to do. So again, congratulations, Hard Wrath, uh, Chanigan, and Shun Bobby. Again, if you're watching. I hope to see you in round two in the commentator booth and uh, go get them. All right. And with that, I have been Hate the 13th, joined in the booth by Wef Jebster. Hi and there. If you've enjoyed what you've seen, uh, go toss Wef a follow. And uh, I also want to say thanks to Shadow Mr. T and Devious RNG for keeping notes and you know tracking things because. These, trying to keep track of these things without them would have been just, um, nope, full-on impossible. And uh, thanks to RPG Limit Break for letting us bogart their channel for the past hour and a half or so. Um, well, keep an eye on the discords for the for Final Fantasy and Time Spinner both. I've been posting er, announcements for the races when they happen. Uh, and we will see you all later. And uh, bid you all a good evening and adieu.